The key to really understanding how muscles move the body is remembering the specific landmarks from the skeletal system. If you're one of my students, this week you are going to have to learn the origin, insertion, and action of all the muscles we looked at the week prior. A lot of that can just be memorized via Quizlet or going through your own flashcards or just looking at the lab manual. Um, but for those of you who struggle with memorization, that would be like me, um, I want to walk through a few ex examples of how you can study this information. And then what I'd like you to do is follow that example for the remainder of the muscles to really help you um, learn this for quiz purposes. I want to use my little muscle man model here to help illustrate a point. If I were to do my best Joey Tribbiani impression and say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Which is a really bad impression, and I should probably edit that part out of this video, to be quite frank. Uh, but anyways, if I were to raise my eyebrows like that, and you were to look at this muscle man and say, hey, what, what muscle is responsible for that? You might be thinking that's the frontalis and you would be correct. So let's take a closer look and see why that's the case. Here we have a closer look at the frontalis. So let's look at the origin and insertion. The origin of the frontalis is the epicranial aponeurosis and the insertion is going to be um, really the skin of the forehead and the eyebrows in this area right here. Um, this muscle is also known as the frontal belly of the occipitofrontalis, and you may see that term in other resources, and, and the reason why is because um, this, this, and this right here is a structure called the epicranius, and um, that epicranial aponeurosis is this white, flat, broad piece of tissue right here, and it actually connects the frontalis with the occipitalis. So uh, in our lab annuals, we just call this the frontalis, but know when you see frontal belly of occipitofrontalis, that's the same thing. For my students, we can just call this the frontalis. So the origin being the epicranial aponeurosis and the insertion being the skin uh, at the forehead and the eyebrows, we can see that if the insertion moves towards the origin, which is what we generally see, that this will cause the eyebrows to raise like so. If you said the orbicularis oculi, you would be correct. Hopefully you said the orbicularis oris. A note about the orbicularis oculi and the orbicularis oris is that those are circular muscles, meaning that the fibers are concentric. They go in this circular fashion, um, which is what a sphincter muscle is. Whenever a circular muscle contracts, it will close, meaning when the orbicularis oculi contracts, it will close, which means we are winking, blinking, or squinting. And when the orbicularis oris closes, we are closing the mouth, or we are pursing our lips, as Zoolander would do. The zygomaticus major is also known as the smile muscle. It is located right here. The origin is going to be the zygomatic bone, okay, which is our cheekbone. The cheekbone.
is our cheekbone, and the insertion is going to be the corner of the mouth. And so remember, if the insertion moves towards the origin, okay, the insertion moves towards the origin, what happens when that muscle contracts? It is going to pull our mouth into a nice smile. So every time you smile at someone, and I hope you're doing a lot of that now, especially <laughs> these days, um, with all of the isolation we're having to do due to COVID-19, um, think about that zygomaticus major. I really hope those tips helped you. Remember, if you get in the rut of uh, looking at those Quizlet card sets or your lab manual and you're really not picking up this information, go through one by one, touch those parts on your own body, perform the action. That really might be the thing that helps you. Repetition is your friend for this kind of information. A lot of it can be memorized, but why not really put it in your brain? If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you receive instant updates whenever I upload new content. And as always, check out my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time. Shh, go back to sleep.